For the 2016-2017 financial year, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries will be targeting some key areas to drive economic growth through production. By any standard. Portfolio Minister Carl Samuda outlined several initiatives in his sectoral presentation. Many were geared towards micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs. Given the creative potential of this sector, its propensity for innovation and, and job creation, the government has to focus on this sector in a more structured way. This includes a review of the 2013 MSME and entrepreneurship policy over the next three months to create a standard definition for the MSME sector. This initiative will improve the reporting of financial statistics for the sector and will lay the foundation for development of more tailored financing products. In addition, a national catalogue of MSME initiatives will be made available at the end of June. This is to provide information on what's being offered to the sector across the island. An initiative is also underway to expand the outreach of business development services to the sector, working in partnership with parish-based institutions and through web-related products. We have made arrangements with the chambers of commerce across the country to meet every three months. And at those meetings, we will review all the obstacles to business and collectively through a working partnership, we will be able to get the job done. Other initiatives to strengthen and grow the MSME sector include Improving access to financing for the productive micro sector working closely with the finance ministry, the DBJ and private sector financial institutions including banks, credit unions and microfinancing. And more support is being given to manufacturers in the import and export business. Mr. Samuda said an agreement was in place with Customs to allow for a maximum turnaround time of 15 days to process manufacturers' applications for duty concessions. We will be doing our utmost and the entire ministry is mobilized in this regard. It makes it easier for everybody to do business. In the area of agriculture, government has taken mediatory steps to continue production at the Long Pond and Money Musk sugar factories. Cabinet recently gave approval for the Sugar Company of Jamaica, SCJ Holdings, to operate the Money Musk sugar factory for the 2016-2017 crop year. Our intervention is a holding position while Pan-Caribbean engages new investors in their field operation and other streams of revenue from the sugar cane with a view to resume operations in 2016-2017 crop year. An agreement between the government and Pan-Caribbean will see SCJ Holdings managing the 2,800 hectare property, which will be leased to cane farmers in 18 block sizes. Applicants have already been shortlisted and arrangements have been made with the input suppliers to extend credit to these farmers on a crop lean basis. Water will be provided by the National Irrigation Commission. The government's sole interest and motivation is the preservation of jobs and the livelihood of independent farmers as long as local economy needs it in southern Clarendon. As for the Long Pond Sugar Factory, the Agriculture Minister told Parliament that $180 million allocated in the previous administration for transportation support had been diverted to repair the factory. This is to keep the factory operational for the 2016-2017 crop year, while the Long Pond owners search for new investors and other revenue streams. We are currently in the process of rescuing 70,000 tons of cane. A commitment to supply 45,000 tons to Worthy Park to give them additional throughput to make their factory more profitable. Minister Samuda stressed that the operations had rescued the livelihoods of over 230 farmers and 130 workers in the factory. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries committed to economic growth and job creation through production putting policies in place to grow micro, small and medium enterprises and taking action to ensure production.